Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to another episode of Tigers RC in Minecraft. It is day number 158, and I have been really busy. Unfortunately, last week I couldn't post an episode because of a lot of stuff going on. Sometimes life happens, but that doesn't mean I wasn't busy. I have been gathering resources and doing a little bit of terraforming and mining a lot. Um, we've still got the witch hut if we want to make a farm out of that. And the nether experience grinder is working out great. You can see I'm level 45. I don't really need to enchant anything right now. But yeah, we're gonna head up here. I have caught a horse. It's a pretty good horse. You can jump over fences, ride up terrain and all that. That's what I want in a horse. Eventually I might try and find a really, really good horse, but this one will do for now. Um, so, yeah. Last episode, we built our tower. That's going to be our main base. I have lit it up. I'll probably do something special with the lighting this episode. Um, this entire area right along here used to be forest. The water used to come to about there and go back in. You can see I've still got a little bit of terraforming to do. I don't actually have any dirt reserve, but um, I'll get this done soon enough. Um, what I want it to be is straight land from, I don't know, about here going straight that way, right past the witch hut. Everything, all of this water completely filled in, and I'm going to build all on top of that. Maybe not this area over here, but definitely surrounding that witch hut and definitely along here to get to there. Um, so that's a lot of terraforming, but I'm gonna just take it bit by bit and get it done. This part's done now. I have done a lot of logging and some caving as well, lighting up some of the areas. If we want to make a good witch hut, we've got to light up the entire area based around where that is, so um, that's going to be a little bit of a project, but when it's done, the Witch Hut will be producing redstone and glowstone constantly. I have not worked any on the tower between episodes, because that's what this episode is going to be. So, yeah. That was quite a mouthful. Um, I think we're going to get right to it. This episode, we're going to work on getting the floors and some of the interior, as well as the exterior looking great. Um, the floors are going to be interesting because I've got to have some sort of a staircase between them, and it has to be, t it has to be tilted as well and that's going to be really interesting, as well as the outsides, because um, right now it looks kind of bland. It's only gray, so I'm going to use some of our wood that we got from logging right here. I'd say that's plenty of wood. That should do it for the outside don't need too much for each pillar and then the inside will be made out of dark oak yeah all right so I'm gonna get some of the resources ready and I'll see you when I've got a prototype alrighty so this is what I've come up with but I don't really care for it too much I have to incorporate lighting and I've done that but I don't know if it's what I want to go with. You can see um, 
it looks like it's going into the ground and that's good and it provides a breakup in the structure so that's good I might I might go with this um, so the texturing is going to be really interesting but after we get all of the flooring in and the pillars in we can add some windows and those are going to be fun those are going to add a lot to the outside that's also going to set up my area for my um, entrance and from there all that we would have to do is some interior decor so this thing is actually relatively close to being done I'm gonna work on the other pillars the other beams that are supporting it and I'll see you guys when I've done some work so be right back as the sun rises we can see my handiwork right over there um, yeah I think that this turned out pretty well something interesting I might do I might add like a hole in one wall I'm thinking somewhere on this side so that um, you can have like the beam broken and sticking out and this wall just this hole in the wall and there's rocks and rubble on the ground this is meant to be a decrepit tower so that would be cool or maybe one on this side possibly a little meteor just came straight through or a fireball or something that would be really really cool um, but yeah you can see things are coming out great um, implementing the wood is a definite must for a build like this just with all of the grays and stuff um, but now we've got to start with the interior and all of that so um, I'm gonna gather some resources and I'll see you when I'm ready alrighty so here we are at the bottom of our thing ready to build the floor I think what I'm gonna do is start out with something like this just the diagonal of the floor this is the very center right here so uh, here actually from that you can see what this does is it gets that angle that I'm looking for in my floor something I think that I can live with that's actually a decent angle for my floor um, but what I might want to do in this corner is something like this giving the impression that the floor was once a much bigger floor. All right, let's try it with those things. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Lighting glitch. Can't do that. All right. Um, something. Yeah, like that. And then from there. You know, actually probably gonna have to bring that down anyway seeing as we've got some beveling up in the top side but um, yeah I'm gonna actually grab some stone brick so the floor is gonna be that dark color 
I think it contrasts very nicely with the stone brick. That's going to be kind of nice. But what we can do is get rid of all this. I don't like the floor going underneath the wall, even though it is an old decrepit tower. That still... It's still going to be my base, and I want to be able to walk on the floor, if you know what I mean. So, like that. That's probably good. So, now we just extend this out diagonally from there, like that. That way we get exactly what we need. Too much. Alright, I will be back when I'm done with the rest of the floor, um, and we'll probably add in some detailing on the bottom floor especially um, a little bit later, but um, yeah, I like this. Be back in just a sec. Alrighty, so here we are. This is just a straight up cut diagonally slanting floor. I don't really want it to be straight up cut diagonally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do a little bit of beveling something like cutting out those two and then these two like that, you see? What that does is it rounds off this um edge so that you get this kind of curve in your diagonal cut. And that's what I'm going for. A lot more than what it is already. So, something about like that. You see? It looks curved now. And if we do that on the next one up, as well. We gotta start from the center, so it would go two back. Gonna have to break these and put some of this there. So it would go two back. Actually, this one's gonna be a half slab. Then, like that. And then this one and this one. And I just broke my axe. Okay, I'll finish that up and I'll meet you back here when I have. That's looking much better, but I'm gonna just add one little thing by bringing it up by one block. Uh, not this one. There. So that one's out by one block, and then this one is out by one block. Yep, that corner bit's probably going to bug me. I'll probably add one there. And then this one is out by one block. So that way it doesn't seem like there's meant to be a half slab here or a, a another half block down here. I'll deal with that redstone later, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I'd say this is actually looking pretty nice. Especially... Yep. Alright, so we're gonna typically be on the ground floor, but... Um, the 
next thing we want to do is put in the next level. And then after that, we're going to work on the staircase that goes between them. I'm not going to do a ladder. I don't care for ladders. They're kind of slow, in my opinion. But we're going to um, do the staircase. And yeah. So the next level is going to be six blocks up. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So right here. Unless I am completely and totally mistaken, that's where I want it to be. See, that way I don't get this cramped feeling like I'm in some sort of dungeon. There's a high ceiling. And yeah, it also makes it more dramatic if we decide to put in some sort of a see-through area. Like if the um, entire spiral staircase goes down a big old hole in the center. That would be impressive, but um, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. But I'm going to work on that floor and probably the floor above it and the one above that and the top floor as well. And I'll see you when I've got those done. And here we are. This is our floor pattern. I went ahead and added a little bit of detail and got some spruce wood. looks really bright against the dark oak, but I think it works. I'm going to have to go over between episodes and add in some of these missing gaps against the wall and stuff, but that's about it. This is looking pretty cool. I could probably live in here, except for the stairway. need to set that up. So, yeah, you can see this is the bottom floor, and it's looking pretty great. Now we have to do the stairway. And I want it to be kind of a spiral, kind of a back and forth sort of thing. I don't really quite know yet. Um, stairs and slabs are what it's going to be made out of. I know that. But um, yeah, I'm going to just go to the bottom and experiment. I'm thinking either it should be in the corner or right against this wall, but this wall has where our mob spawner is. If we open it up, okay, maybe we don't want to open that up. But um, on the next floor up, right here, there's going to be a window, eventually a window of some sort, looking down on the mob spawner, which that's actually really cool, this view, I like it. I'm gonna seal this back up for now, but... So, probably not there. Um, I do not want it to be on opposite sides, because this is a long way to run, to go up one level and then run all the way back. So, let's actually try it right here starting from here and going up. So about there. Don't need that there. We want slab. Don't need that one. Stair. Alright. So something like this. And then up. What if we do stairs up to the next level? Uh, that might work. Although we should probably do a half slab there. This one has to be right and there. Now then, stair. That's the other thing. There are areas like this where it is a upside down half slab and it's showing from underneath and that's kind of ugly so I'll have to go over that between episodes as well. But that's actually not too bad. Um, I'm gonna have to add an upside down stair there and there. That makes
makes it look a little bit better. A little bit more realistic, but I'm liking that. That's actually great. Up we go, and here we are. Alrighty, what if we do the exact same thing again? Alrighty, so here we are. I think that this thing is coming together quite nicely. We've got our stairway. It's kind of a weird diagonal thing right against the side of the tower. I actually like that. That fits with the theme that I'm going for for this tower. And our slanted flooring, which, wow, that's really cool. I don't know how I'm going to work with interior decoration with this. It's going to be really interesting. But, yeah, we've also got our beams to make it look good from the outside. And the stairway works really well. So, yeah. Um, this leaves a few things that we still have to do. One of them is make windows. I planted some spruce trees so that I could get some spruce wood. Don't worry, I'll chop those down. They look kind of bad right, th right now, but that's okay. Um, but bet next episode... I think that I'll be making windows. There should be, if we just hop down right here, there is going to be a window, one or two on the side here, between each of the beams, probably just the one, and it would go all the way around, so one there, and then one there, and one over there, and one up there etc 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 windows and that'll look good um, we also have to make the entire bottom look decrepit like it is on top so gravel and cobblestone randomly placed around I might do that between episodes but probably not we will also have to make a top floor which is where we would stand to look out across all the landscape and stuff like that. And then, after all that's done, then we can actually get into the detail. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty massive build, but I think it's coming along great. It's going to be my house, so I want it to look nice. Um, but, yeah, tell me what you think. Between episodes, I'm going to do a few things. One of them is upgrade the Pounder of Days a little bit so that it'll activate once every day. And I don't have to keep on running over there and hitting that button. But that's not too big of a thing. Um, another is I might start to move all my stuff inside. So probably the basement floor. And another thing we need to do is add a legitimate entrance. That's kind of weird. But right down here, this is probably going to be my storage room. I'll also add, I might add in um, underneath here, like a caveway entrance that will go to a place where I can AFK experience farm. I destroyed the one that was here when I made the one that was in the nether. I'm really excited though. This thing is turning out great. And yeah. But I do believe that I have to call the episode there. So I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. I had a ton of fun making this. And until next time, fellows. So long.